Boris Johnson has gathered the cabinet to talk about how they can address the burgeoning cost of living crisis. Before we continue, please if you are new here, just take a few seconds to hit the subscribe button to get amazing contents. PM and Rishi Sunak have been dealing with large strain to assist households deal with rising expenditures of meals and energy. Grim figures released with the aid of the ONS advocate nearly a quarter of Britons have been struggling to pay routine bills. Boris Johnson will these days urge the cabinet to focalise on the cost of living crisis as the authorities faces a backlash from struggling families. The PM is gathering his senior crew, ordering them to double down on discovering innovative methods to address spiralling expenditures of meals and energy. The session comes with simply over a week until crunch local elections, and after grim figures confirmed nearly a quarter of Britons are struggling to pay their family bills. The Office for National Statistics additionally determined that 87% had observed the prices rising last month, up 25 points since November. Rishi Sunak has been going through huge strain to come ahead with a new package of assist to help humans cope after his mini-budget last month was once criticised for now not going a long way enough. But the government's room for manoeuvre is being severely hampered by the fallout from Covid and the Ukraine war, with figures these days revealing interest payments on debt are hovering, and borrowing has been greater than expected. Theobr has anticipated that Britons will go through the largest fall in living standards this year, due to the fact that the documents began in the 1950s. The headline CPI inflation charge is anticipated to spike in the coming months, with warnings it may want to even attain double figures. Mr Johnson will name on the cabinet to bang the drum for current aid measures and assist humans into awesome and well-paid work however it is no longer clear there are essential new measures in the pipeline. And a NO10 spokesman stressed that balancing the books is the priority. High tiers of public debt following the unprecedented support provided during the pandemic, together with rising inflation and interest rates, imply we have to hold manage of the public funds instead than burden future generations with greater debt. The spokesman said. Downing Street brought that private corporations should play their part. Ministers may not hesitate to crack down on unacceptable behaviour taking place within industry, the place they are unfairly pushing up payments in addition for hard-working people, the spokesman said. Ahead of Cabinet, Mr Johnson said. With family payments and residing prices rising in the face of international challenges, easing the burden on the British people and developing our economic system ought to be a group effort throughout Cabinet. We have a robust bundle of economic assist on offer, worth pounds 22 billion, and it is up to all of us to make positive that assist is accomplishing the hardest hit and hard working households throughout the country. The ONS Opinions and Lifestyle Survey discovered that around 9 in 10 adults, 87%, mentioned an increase in the price of dwelling during March. Overall, 23% of adults determined it very hard or hard to pay their standard family bills in the last month, in contrast with a year ago. According to the ONS survey, 43% stated they would no longer be capable to save cash in the subsequent 12 months, the very best stage considering the fact that the question used to be first requested in March 2020. We will proceed to do all we can to help humans, besides letting government spending and debt spiral, even as continuing to assist Brits to locate excellent jobs and earn more, no matter the place they live. However, Labour became the screw by warning Britons are going through a pound's 10 billion hike in annual petrol and diesel costs, with soaring costs putting the squeeze on working families. The party reiterated its call for an emergency budget to handle the cost of living crisis, with a reduced to energy bills funded with the aid of a windfall tax on oil and gas companies. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.